good morning um friends and family um facebook family instagram family hi this is temi from the house of light assembly and i'm bringing you another word of encouragement today on this um it's wednesday so i always have my word of encouragement on wednesday so look out for it every wednesday because i know god has a word for somebody today so very quickly today i'm going to be encouraging us on the battles in our lives so in the House of Light Assembly, Tola, we've been reading about, you know, 1 Samuel. Um, we've been reading the book of 1 Samuel. And in it, we found how God deals with people, um, the different dimensions of God in electing, you know, kings to rule over his people. You know, we saw how the people rejected God and eventually God gave them a king, Saul. You know, and then we also saw how God used every battle to you know either promote or demote them let's take for example saul was anointed as king by samuel but he was not confirmed by king by you know the the majority of the people until he fought in a battle with the amalekite saul was confirmed king by his bat by the by by the battle that he won with the amalekite Look at David in the same first, uh, the book of First Samuel. David was crowned; he was preferred above um, Saul by a battle, by the battle against Goliath. You know, God, the people saw that this is a valiant young man, and see how he fought the battle. See how he fought the battle against this Philistine that molested us, that spoke negatively against us and against our God. David arose and fought the battle, and he was confirmed king as a result of that. People preferred him above above um, Saul. And prior to that, even Samuel, the, um, the priest, he had already anointed him as king anyway. He was just kind of waiting for Saul to pass away. Let's look at another battle. So these two battles made these two men, promoted them into royalty, into a place of authority and power. And there were there was also battles that demoted them. The battle that God told Saul to go ahead and fight a group of people and to destroy them. But Saul, instead of him fighting them, he fought the people. He took all of the goods and the land, you know, the gold, the silver, all the good stuff. And then he preserved their king. Guys, when you preserve a king, you preserve a kingdom again. But Saul did not kill the king. He, he kept him. And, you know, because of that... Because because of disobedience, God rejected Saul. God said, I don't want to have anything to do with this guy. He's not going to obey me. So God brought him from a place of royalty and God demoted him because he did not win that battle. Because he had an incomplete obedience to God. And as a result of that, God um, demoted him. Also, by another battle, David in the Bible, he was... Um, he was punished. I wouldn't say punished, but God smacked his hands and God uh, reproved him because when people were going to battle, when people were going to battle, David, he was in, the, in his home and he spotted a woman. And he had an affair with the woman who was not his wife. And then he ordered the, the husband of that wife to be, uh, the husband of the wife to be killed in battle because David didn't want him to come home so he could claim his wife back. David wanted his wife. He wanted Bathsheba and he killed his um, husband, Uriah. And as a result of that, God, you know, God was, you know, upset with him. And God said, come on, you didn't obey me. And the child that came out of that God didn't want him to keep the child so battles in our lives they come and they 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 can present as a physical battles as a physical affliction maybe it's an illness it's a disease in your body and you just can't stand it or what about it being emotional you have so much you know anxiety depression or just things that you you know you just can't think straight you always feel overwhelmed you could sleep eight hours and still wake up gloomy you know battles in our life could come in our families it can come in our career it could come in our 
our uh, um in our school uh, in our um education it can come in any area of our lives but one thing you have to understand that i want you to understand today is that don't run from battles battles are there you know you when you go through things to make you a better person either to promote you or to demote you battles are there to either promote you or demote you the bible says that many are the afflictions of the righteous but god delivers them from from all of them so that means that you may be afflicted you may be challenged right now you may feel like giving up right now but if you stick in there and you obey god completely you will come out triumphantly you will come as glo come out glorified you will come out in a come out in a better state but if you choose to disobey god that battle can consume you get that battle can become a demotion for you like it did to Saul you also have to understand that battles in your life are there they are part of life you know there's a saying that battles um this war is full of battles it's full of war now i'm not saying battles with gun that's not what i'm saying but things that challenges you you know you're always challenged you know every day every day has its own trouble you know but you have to stay in the place in the position of i will win i will win it doesn't matter what battle i will win why because god is for me and if God be for me who can be against me he has made me more than a conqueror if I obey him in my life if I obey God in the journey of my life I will always come out on top and that should be your stand that should be your resolute you should stay in the place of yes I'm gonna win don't take the battles in your life with levity this world is filled with battles our lives are filled with battles you know going to school is a battle itself you you have to wake up you know having children and raising them it's a battle it's a spiritual battle that you have to fight because many things are trying to take your kids away training to you know systems are trying to take your kids away but you have to say no i'm gonna address it in the place of prayer i'm gonna do what i need to do and i'm gonna watch out for god to do what he will do in my life do not take the battles in your life for levity yes they can feel overwhelming absolutely yes they are challenging but you know that if God be for you who can be against you who can be against you who can stand against the Lord no one can and if no one can stand against the Lord because you're a child of God you will always come out triumphantly in the name of Jesus another point that I want us to understand today is God there are battles that are like like I said the, the, this this world is filled with battles just living itself is a battle that's why when a child is born the first thing he does or she does is that they they cry they cry because they're like why did you bring me to this earth <laughs> but you know what i'm gonna win i'm gonna win anyway another point you should understand is to ask god for strategies to win god gives strategy to win god can give strategy to win with Saul, god told him listen i'm gonna give you victory over this group of people but i want you to wipe them out Saul did not obey him. That was a strategy God gave to him and he disobeyed. So there are strategies to win. There was another, the Israelite on their way to the promised land. God gave them strategy on how to 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 defeat um 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 Jericho he told them listen walk around it you know blow that trumpet they're gonna fall down flat and you're gonna take over you're gonna take over God gave them strategies for it it wasn't difficult so in your life for the battles in your life either physical emotional um intellectual um financial whatever the case may be ask god what is the strategy to win because when you ask him he will give it to you and he will give it to you completely and you will come out victorious in the name of the lord jesus christ so i want to encourage you today don't let the battles of life overwhelm you instant stand stand in the word of god stand in the place of obedience to god and say god i will obey you and as i obey you i will come out on top in the name of jesus christ I just want to encourage somebody today and I hope that you're encouraged. Listen, 
If you're not a child of God, this is not for you. You will not win the battles of life. The battles of life will overwhelm you. They will knock you down. But if you are a child of God, you are guaranteed victory because we have the victory in Christ Jesus. So if you're not a child of God and you've not given your heart to the Lord, you absolutely will not win the battles of life. The battles of life will overwhelm you. If you want to choose to be a child of God this morning, I want you to say after me, Lord Jesus, I acknowledge that I'm a sinner and I know that you are the savior. Please come into my life. Be my Lord and my savior. I renounce sin and I declare that I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus. And I believe that you are a child of God by those words of faith that you have declared this morning. Be blessed of the most high God and God bless you. Unto another Wednesday, if God permits. Amen. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.